Digital photography, it's not overstated to call it a revolution, turning film into ones and zeros, and in the process, completely changing the way we take and share pictures. But what about how we relate to them? A brewing revolution in that, the other half of what it means to take a picture, is where we're taking you today. So I was always motivated in how could we use this new technology to uh, take pictures that could help us tell richer visual stories to one another. Ren Ung is the founder of Lytro, a photography company that aims to change what you think of as a photo, and in the process, what you want from a camera. While doing PhD work at Stanford, Ren got into the core concept behind the Lytro camera, capturing light now, so the photo can be almost anything later. What is it that this camera is going to do differently for me as the photographer, the consumer? We collect something called a light field, and it contains all the amount of light traveling in every direction at every point of space inside the camera. So it sounds like everything you're describing to me, to this English major, is all in multiple dimensions, 3D at its core. Is that getting close to it? It totally is, yeah. Regular photographs, 2D. All photographs have always been 2D. Yeah. And with this, the light field rays flowing in three dimensions, forming this very high multidimensional uh, light field. What really makes the Lytro camera tick is this, a piece of glass called a micro lens array. If you look through that at a light source, you can see how it spreads the rays apart. Right, can you see that? Yeah, it's a huge number of red, green, blue, and maybe sort of a yellow. Yeah, exactly, and rays going in different directions. And they're, and they're coming out like, like a porcupine. Exactly. Instead of concentrating all the light in a scene into a flat plane with a single point of focus, that's what regular cameras do, this light field sensor is able to capture the myriad rays of light coming from the micro lens as raw materials more than a finished photo. Here's a picture of an eye. You can see it's focused on these eyelashes. Mm -hmm. And the actual eyeball is a little bit out of focus. Exactly. But with the light field backing this, you can click on the picture and bring the eyeball into focus itself. And now you can see all the details in the iris. And it's interesting. It changed the meaning of the photo. I love this picture, too. It's a cricket climbing up a leaf. And if we click around this picture, you can see you know, the veins within this leaf, or here where this other leaf is sort of curling back on itself. All really interesting. But What's this in the background? Once again, sort of inviting you to explore. And what is it? My goodness, it's another cricket in the background here. Now, if all this selective focus stuff will initially be Greek to consumers, there's another Lytro feature that won't be, 3D. Convince me that the 3D part of what you do is interesting. Sure. Put these glasses on. Okay, these are active shutter glasses. And it's kind of remarkable from a single camera, you can get this amount of depth. And notice here, I can even change the viewpoint in the scene after we've taken the shot. So it's not only the stereo that you get in a movie, but also this ability to change parallax, kind of like you're moving head, your head from side to side, which is actually one of the strongest 3D effects. We spend some $38 billion on digital still cameras today. For about $200, you get a huge amount of megapixels, extreme levels of zoom, HD video ability, even built-in Wi-Fi sharing and multiple screens now. That's a lot for a little, and a lot to compete against. I think for me, photography means a lot of different things in many, many different contexts. I think you can use it in lots of different ways. You can use it to take regular photographs more easily. And there's a lot of value in that, tremendous value in, in democratizing photography further, even beyond where we have been today. But there is also tremendous value to opening up new artistic avenues. And the artists are going to find it just easy and you know something which has made their previous craft become something which is cheap. No, they're going to find that light field photography opens entirely new kinds of artistic challenges. You're making cameras, but is that the end game? Do you really want to get in the camera business, or are you proving a point to get this into all other cameras? Uh, this technology can affect everything in, with a lens in front of a sensor, from mobile phones through to high-end cameras. At this point in time, though, the company is laser-focused on this first Lytro camera. And in the process, must take on the much bigger task than just building a new kind of camera, getting consumers to want a new kind of picture. 